What's up everyone, it's Duncan from 4xTouring.com. A number of my subscribers are very new to this lifestyle of overlanding, four-wheel driving, four-wheel touring, whatever you want to call it. And a few of them have been writing to me and I'm more than happy to share information with others. So if, if you want to ask me something, head on over to 4xTouring.com, write to me, I'll be glad to help out. Now, one of the things I wanted to chat about in this particular video was safety. Uh, when I say safety, certain precautions I take around the 4B so that in case an emergency comes up, hopefully never, then I have somewhat prepared for it. Now, of course, there are many of you are watching, uh, following me on the channel who are highly experienced in overlanding and some of you I'm sure or many of you are far more experienced than I am so once you watch this video if you got your own input to share with me as well as everybody else who's watching please leave them in the comment section below welcome back everyone if you are new to my channel please hit that subscription button and the notification bell because my channel is all about sharing my experiences in overlanding with the rest of the community and at the same time i learn from everybody else through your feedback in from the comment section so to today's video so i'm going to share with you especially those who are new to this lifestyle certain things that i carry in the four-wheel drive which i've permanently mounted onto the four-wheel drive which i feel would become useful during an emergency again as i keep saying hopefully I never get to use these things but it's always good to be prepared so starting with the inside i have you have to carry one of the most essential things to carry is an extinguisher at least one i would recommend two now in my case i carry two fire extinguishers and with fire extinguishers what you got to do is you got to mount them in a place where it's easy to access. And that's just the crucial part about it. And in my case, what I've done is I have mounted my first extinguisher, and I'll get to, to the second one in a minute, right here underneath the passenger, front passenger seat. The passenger can access it very easily. The driver can access it very easily. And that's where I've mounted my fire extinguisher. Secondly, I've also got one of these mounted here. Again, easy access for the both passenger as well as the driver. And this is basically something to, this is a little hammer with, with a little pointed end. This is useful to break glass if need be. At the same time, this has got also a knife here, which can be used to cut a seat belt if need be. And this one is pretty handy. It's got a torch at the back as well. Now that sits here. It, this particular one which I bought came with this mounting bracket. So it's in a quite a nice secure place with easy access. And in here, in the glove compartment, I've got something which I'll share towards the end of this video. It's something in writing, which I also find might be very useful. I'll get to that, so keep watching. At the back here, I have a handheld radio. Now, I normally carry two of these. I just haven't got the second one on this trip. These are two 5-watt handheld radios. Now, handheld radios can be useful for many, many things. Uh, but in, this, in relation to this particular video that I'm doing, I find it quite useful because sometimes you know, Ajani tends to go for walks when we're at a campsite by herself. I might be doing something else around the campfire or campsite or setting camp, whatever. And when she goes for a walk by herself, and if most of these places don't have cell phone signal, then I get her to carry one of these radios. I will then have the radio on the, which is mounted on the dashboard, switched on as well. And perhaps the second handheld radio will be on me if I'm out and about as well. So that way, in case of an emergency, she can get hold of me. I can get hold of her. Also, back here is this here, and this is, and this is a PLB. Now, this is known. PLB stands for a personal personal locator beacon. Now, when I got this unit, 
some time back i did do a full video on this and talked about the importance of it briefly what it does is it's a satellite communicator you can't communicate but in case of a dire straits life or death situation if you're in a place where there's no cell phone coverage and you're really desperate you set this thing off and then help will come to you now i will leave a link to that video in the description below go check it out and i talk about all the benefits of this how it works how you set it off and all that so that's a plb that i carry at the back here going around to the back where i have my second fire extinguisher that's right over here again easy access once we get to a campsite we do a lot of work towards the back of the vehicle we get the kitchen going and uh, again most of the time we end up being in the back area of the vehicle because we've got access to everything that we carry for cooking and so on so if something did happen and we needed a fire extinguisher it's right here so the second fire extinguisher is mounted at the back and then coming over to this side one of the most important things of all you should have is the first aid kit so our first aid kit is right here it lives there permanently now it's all very well getting a first aid kit but we've got to know how to use it now of course getting to know how to use you know plasters and stuff like that anybody can do but one of the things i'll highly highly recommend is go and do one of these first aid kit courses because you have no idea how valuable it can be again you you hope you never have to put those into practice but when we go remote go into remote areas it is essential because anything can happen so i would highly recommend that you go and get yourself get yourself through one of these first aid courses and learn everything from snake bite uh, how to deal with that or if someone burns themselves you know there's a whole array of things that you could familiarize yourself or train yourself in and this one this will be not just applicable when you're you know traveling remote or overlanding but it in, in everyday life you never know now before i get to what's in the glove box what i've also done and is put on these little stickers that will tell anybody from the outside that there is a first aid kit on board i also have on the other side something a little sticker of the same type to tell anybody outside that there is a fire extinguisher on board like that there so now coming around to what's in the glove compartment which i mentioned earlier and this is something which stays permanently in Dicerus. and if we're doing a convoy trip i try and encourage everybody else in the convoy to do as well and it is just a simple envelope it's a very simple envelope and in the front of it i have written the words in big bold letters open in case of an emergency now this is particularly for somebody other than the two of us so supposing something goes wrong and the two of us are incapacitated and somebody else comes to help it's in there and what it's got is various inf medical information relating to the two of us so things like blood type if we have any allergies are we allergic to certain medications um, do we have any underlying health issues and so on because in the time if like paramedics or somebody else comes to assist us in that situation these are pieces of information that is vital in how they respond in trying to help us and it's something i feel every overlander should carry and in fact even if you're just doing a road trip in your regular you know saloon car just driving on blacktop this would be mighty helpful to paramedics when they come to um, help you out so that's i find it's extremely important and that's what I keep in the glove compartment permanently. In fact, I have it in both my vehicles, the Daily Runner as well as Dicerus. Now, of course, there are other things and other precautions one can take. Um, so that's why I said those experienced overlanders, please leave comments below if, you know, if there's something else that you carry along with you. 
then I'd love to learn as well and I'm sure the others will do too. So I hope you found this video useful. If you've got questions, comments, like I said, in the comment section below or write to me through the website for bytouring.com. And um, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscription button and the notification bell. My channel is all about sharing my experience in overlanding with everybody else. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another week's time.